Bokashi is a type of fertilizer made by fermenting wastes to produce organic material. It is ready for use in 12 to 15 days. The method that we're describing here draws from years of experience with small scale farmers in Latin American countries. Making Bokashi is a bit like cooking. As with cooking, it is best to follow the recipe until you feel confident with the process. Then you can adapt it as you need. Good quality Bokashi can improve the growth of plants and the fertility of the soil. Keep trying it out and you will keep learning to improve the quality of your Bokashi. To make Bokashi, you will need the following ingredients. Seven sacks of dried manure. You can use any kind of manure, but a mixture of manure is best. Seven sacks of dry matter. This can be husks from processing grains, crop residues, dried leaves or even sawdust. A mixture is best. The dry matter must be cut up into small pieces. Five sacks of soil. Soil with a high clay content is best. One sack of biochar. This is charcoal and is optional. One sack of bran. Bran is the material that is left over when grinding grain into flour. You can use rice, wheat or maize bran. Five litres of molasses. You can also use two kilograms of sugar mixed with water. 25 kilograms of minerals such as ash, bone meal or rock dust. 5 litres of water, non-chlorinated, and 500 grams of baker's yeast. Start by finding a shady place to make the layers. Add a layer of dry material, then a layer of soil, then a layer of manure, Next add a layer of biochar. Then a layer of bran. Next add a layer of minerals. Use a mosquito net to sieve these. Take your bucket and add 5 litres of water, then add the yeast. Mix this, then add the molasses. Stir this thoroughly, then sprinkle onto the layer of minerals. Continue making the layers in the same order until all of the materials are finished. Don't forget to sprinkle the yeast and molasses mixture. it should not be more than about 1.2 to 1.5 meters high. You may need to lower the height of the heap as the days go by, depending on what happens to the temperature. The next step is turning the heap. You need to turn the heap so that all the layers become mixed together. As you are turning, sprinkle more water onto the heap, but be careful not to add too much water. We recommend turning the heap three or four times until you have the right amount of water.
Getting the right amount of water is important. To test whether you have added enough water, take a small fistful of the mixed bokashi material into your hand and squeeze it. If the material can't form a sausage shape when you roll it in your hands, then you have too little water. If water comes out between your fingers, you have too much water. Do this test in a few different parts of the heap. If there's not enough water, turn the heap again and sprinkle more water. If you have too much water, add more soil to the heap as you turn the heap again. Try to avoid having too much water. It is better to have too little water than too much. After the first day, you will not add more water to the bokashi. The next day, test the temperature of the heap by putting your hand into it. If you can leave your hand there for up to 10 seconds without burning, but only just, then the temperature is correct. The heap should not be hotter than this. If you have to remove your hand quickly, then the heap is too hot. If the heap is too hot, lower the height of the heap when turning it. You may need to turn it more often. For the first four days, turn the heap in the morning and evening. From the fifth day, turn the heap once per day. Keep checking the temperature. It should start gradually reducing. Usually, after 12 to 15 days, the temperatures of the heap will be the same as the surroundings. You can now use the Bokashi.